Okay, so you've gotten this far into the course, and we're gonna switch gears a little bit now and talk about support vector machines. Now, support vector machines are very closely tied to statistical learning theory. The same inventor um, really uh, pushed both of these forward, Vladimir Vapnik, um, and, and I'm a huge fan of Vladimir, as you'll find out, because um, I got into this field from reading his book on learning theory. Okay, and then from learning theory, we go to margins, because learning theory tells us that we should maximize margins, which is exactly what support vector machines is designed to do. And the margin is the distance between the decision boundary and the nearest data point. Now, after um, support vector machines came out um, and they maximized margins, then, then the people who were, were working on boosting were wondering, well, maybe, maybe boosting also maximizes margins. And so there was this open question in the field for a long time as to whether or not boosting also maximizes that distance between uh, the decision boundary and the nearest training point. And as it turns out, it doesn't, but it, it achieves very large margins, even if it doesn't maximize them. Okay, and then from there, um, we're gonna talk about kernels and the representer theorem, which uh, are the kind of keys that make support vector machines so powerful. Kernels um, and the representer theorem allow you to very easily map your data from its normal usual space to a high dimensional space where, um, where you, can, can, you can use, you can, it, it allows you to do it very easily to map your space to a much higher dimensional space or even an infinite dimensional space where you can compute inner products in that space. Okay, so uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs>